Hello all and welcome to today's Bible portion. Today's Bible portion is going to be Genesis chapter 34 and 35. And Dinah, the daughter of Leh, which he bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite prince of the country, saw her and took her and lay with her and defiled her, and his soul cl clave unto Dinah the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that, and he defiled Dinah's daughter, sorry, that he had defiled his, defiled Dinah his daughter. And his sons were with him as cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they <clears throat> until they were come. And Amor the father of Shechem went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the f of the field when they heard it. <clears throat> and the men were grieved. And they were very wroth because he had done wrath folly in Israel and, s and, laying, and lying with Jacob's daughter. Which thing ought not be done. And Hamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give <coughs> give her him to wife. And make ye marriages with us, and give your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you, and ye shall dwell with us. And the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein, and give your possessions therein. And Shechem said unto his, her father and unto her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes. And what ye shall say unto, unto me I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift. And I will give according as ye s shall say unto me. But give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamor his father deceitfully and said because he had defiled Dina their sister and they said unto them we cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised for that we're were a reproach unto us but in this will we consent unto you if ye will be as we be that every male of you be circumcised then we will give our daughters unto ye or oh, sorry unto you and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then we will take our daughter, and we will be gone. And your words please Hamor, and Shechem's Hamor's son. And the young man deferred not to do the thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter, and he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Hamor and Shechem his son came unto the gate of their city and communed with the, the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us, therefore let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent unto us for to dwell with us, to be one people. If every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised, shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor and, un and unto Shechem, his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city, and every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man a sword and came unto the city boldly and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went out. And the sons of Jacob came unto the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. And they took their sheep and their oxen and their asses <clears throat> and that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their little ones, and their wives, they took, sorry, and their wives took they captive, and spoiled even all that was in the house. 
And Jacob said unto Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to take, to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And I, being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sisters as with the harlot? Genesis chapter 35 And Udonai said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto Adonai, that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. And Jacob said unto his household, and to all <coughs> that were with him, Put away the strange Adonais that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments, and let us arise, and go up to Bethel. And I will make there an altar unto Adonai, who answered me in the day of my distress, and with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange Adonais which were in the land, and all their earnings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of Adonai was upon the cities that were round about them. And they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is Bethel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar and called the place El Bethel, because there Adonai appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. And Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak. And the name of it was called Alan Bakuth. And Adonai appeared unto Jacob again. When he came out of Padanaram, and blessed him, and Adonai said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel, and Adonai said unto him, I am Adonai Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee, I will give it, and to thy seed after thee, Will I give the land? And Adonai went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone. And he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where Adonai spake unto him Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath. And Rachel and travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her son was being, was in departing, for she died. Then she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is, the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyed and spread his tent beyond the tower of Edar. And it came to pass, when Israel dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhaz, his father's concubine. And Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of Lay, Reuben's Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Iskar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, and the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handsmaid, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Blaze's handmaid, Gad, and Asher. These are the names of son, sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Padanaram. And Jacob came unto Isaac, his father, unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned, and the days of Isaac were a hundred and fourscore years. And Isaac gave up the ghosts and died and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Well, that's today's read. Until next time.
hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.